Thanks for hanging with us for your news at 6. I'm meteorologist Chandler Jordan out of our first solar weather center. Beautiful sunset out there for us across the Midlands, starting to get rid of some of the thicker cloud cover that we had hanging in our sky throughout the start of the day, especially just a few leftover cirrus clouds for most of the Midlands. Temperatures that are starting to cool off out there. We're down to 57 degrees currently in downtown Columbia, and you can see where the thicker cloud cover starting to build off to the south and to the east, and this is as drier air from high pressure begins to settle into the Carolinas. Now a little farther to the south, here's our weather maker from the tail end of our Sunday and your Monday morning area of low pressure spinning offshore. You can see the counterclockwise motion of shower activity throughout parts of the low country, and this activity continues to move away from us as we head through the rest of the night tonight with its skies clearing, drier air settling in. That means temperatures fall off quickly, and the breeze that was hanging with us today sticks with us throughout the night tonight. Temperatures will fall into the upper 30s out there as we get ready to kick off our Tuesday. Now, our mornings are going to get even colder, especially by your Wednesday and Thursday. For many of us out there, we're below freezing for those mornings, and that's because high pressure builds into the Carolinas and as it does, it takes control of our forecast, which means a lot of clear sky is ahead of for us out there across the region. So here's first alert feature cast with wind gusts. We pick it up out there right now doing a great job of showing the cloud cover slowly moving to our south and southwest. Now that area of low pressure I just showed you, it hangs offshore far enough that we don't have any influence in the form of clouds or showers. But look at this northeasterly winds on the backside of the system still breezy tomorrow morning. Wind gusts around 20 to 25 miles per hour. Those hang with us through the afternoon, but we get nothing but sunshine out there. So we do thaw out pretty quickly from our cold morning. High temperatures for your Tuesday afternoon in the upper 50s, and that'll be with the breeze that sticks with us throughout the day. Now, as we get into Tuesday night in the early parts of your Wednesday morning, we start to see the winds weakening some. At times, a little bit of a breeze out there for you on Wednesday morning. High pressure still in control of our forecast, which means that we start to get our winds to lighten up as it moves farther to the south. Wednesday afternoon, a little bit of a breeze. Otherwise, though, another beautiful day out there for us. Nothing but sunshine and a high temperature that climbs into the upper 50s. Now, things do start to change a little bit as we get into your Thursday and Friday. Low 60s out there for Thursday, mid 60s with cloud cover increasing as we get into Friday. And then once we get into the weekend, a slow moving frontal boundary brings us more unsettled weather rounds of showers for Saturday and Sunday. Not a complete washout, but for some of us out there, a little bit of rain for us throughout the weekend. It'll be muggy and mild. High temperatures around 70 degrees. Next Monday, we pick up a few more showers and then by the middle of next week around Valentine's Day, a little cooler for us. Rick, high temperatures around 60 degrees.